The White House defending a deal, of course, allowing Hunter Biden to sell his pricey artwork to anonymous buyers with no disclosure to the public. After careful consideration, a system has been established that allows for Hunter Biden to work in his profession within reasonable safeguards. Uh, of course, he has the right to pursue an artistic career, just like any child of a president has the right to pursue a career. I think it would be challenging for an anonymous person who we don't know and Hunter Biden doesn't know to have influence. Okay, joining us now to react, former Utah. Uh, GOP Congressman and Fox News contributor Jason Chaffetz. He's there at CPAC, Texas. Jason, great to have you this morning. So, Thanks, as we all know, Hunter Biden has had uh, some financial issues in the past. Uh, ambiguity about where money was coming from and who it's going to. We don't have to relitigate that. Now he's gone into the art world, where the ultimate ambiguous world, where money's sloshing in for things that are suddenly valuable because he newly picked up a profession of as a painter. Uh, what could go wrong, Jason? Uh, yeah, for uh, Jen Psaki to call it uh, Hunter Biden's new profession is an absolute <laughs> joke. He didn't take up the art and start marketing his art until, of course, daddy was running for president. Now that dad is president, suddenly the value has skyrocketed. Uh, look, the United States Senate issued a report last year, and they said that the way the Russians and others will actually launder money is through the art world. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted to create something to actually move money and provide influence, it would be this. And for what the White House is doing to say they quote unquote negotiated uh, with this art dealer to make sure that there is absolutely no transparency is the exact opposite of transparency. I was the chairman of the That's oversight committee. This is the kind of stuff that we would look at. But when they say they're not going to disclose anything to anybody, it makes it even more suspicious. That's such a great point. You could go one of two ways. You could have said, all right, everything's going to be transparent. We know who's paying yes. for this. We know what their name is. We know what their background is. And as a result, we can, we can you know, tie A to B. Instead, they've said our safeguard is total anonymity. Uh, but don't worry, we have reasonable safeguards in place to make sure no one would ever know who bought it or their background. I, it's just, how do they think this stuff passes any level of public scrutiny? Or are they counting on the fact there won't be any? Um, I, it's the latter, Pete. They, they count on the fact that the media will just be compliant. They will just bend over backwards and say, hey, this is fine. This is the White House. This is what they're doing. Oh, they don't know any. Uh, come on. We're talking about the movement of potentially millions of dollars into the Biden family. And this is a guy who has had problems with Russian prostitutes taking money from, from the former Moscow mayor's uh, wife. He's had problems uh, with China, Ukraine, now Mexico. Now he's in the art world. And Joe Biden calls him the smartest person on the planet. What could possibly go wrong? Pete? <laughs> well, at least I know now I can put a bid in uh, for a piece of his art and they can't deny me. So maybe this is good for folks like us. <laughs> uh, but I got to ask you, Jason, you're going to be on a CPAC panel today, which is live streaming streaming on Fox Nation. What are you talking about down there? So we're going to talk about what is really going on in the White House, who is actually in control. Look, the future for conservatives, the future for uh, the Republican Party, quite frankly, is the idea that they got to win on, on, on the merits. They got to win on the arguments. There's all these quippy things that go back and forth on Twitter and whatnot. But at the end of the day, the policy prescriptions that conservatives put forward are the right formula for America. That's why CPAC is so popular. That's what is going on this weekend. And that's what we plan to talk about today. And what's the vibe down there? Real quick, Jason, what are you feeling about the, the status of the conservative movement right now? I, I think there's a deep feeling that, guess what, Nancy Pelosi is is just a short time away from losing that gavel, that at least the House and hopefully the Senate uh, will come back the Republican way. I just hope that they take that mantle and they remember what got them there, and it will be the policy prescriptions that they have got to stand true to. When they get away from the policy, Guess what? They lose elections, and we can't keep losing elections as conservatives. Well, and the left is giving us a golden opportunity yes. to advance things that people really care about. Well, Jason, enjoy uh, your time down there at CPEC. It seems all the cool kids got invited, yeah, uh, but it. not us. So, uh, <laughs> But we'll be watching you. Watch CPEC live on Fox Nation this weekend, along with speeches by former President Trump and many others. Go to foxnation.com to sign up. Jason, have a great morning. Thank you.